Okay, so this is a lesson on division of polynomials, and uh, so the first problems you'll see are familiar to you as uh, the division we did with exponents, properties of exponents in the last unit uh, would qualify or, or fall under the category of dividing polynomials since, you, since each of these, since the numerator is a polynomial, the denominator is a polynomial, so that's why it's included here. So uh, anyways, the, the first problem is negative 3y cubed z divided by 6yz cubed. So we're going to, you know, as you recall, to do a problem like this, you'll have negative 3 over 6, and then uh, you'll have y. You don't have to show this, but you know, just remember you can separate it like this if you want to, z over z cubed. So you end up with negative one half, or let's uh, actually just put put everything. Uh, let's put everything in the numerator here. Uh, so you'll have negative one in the numerator. So that's just going to make that a negative. And then you'll have you have y cubed over y, so that's y squared. Uh, you have z over z cubed, so that's z squared in the denominator. Uh, you still have the uh, the the three and the six canceled with the, leaving a two behind. And you have a y, you have a z squared in the denominator. So that is so negative y squared over two z squared is your final answer there. The next one you have negative sixteen over negative eight. That's going to leave a negative two in the numerator. You have r over r, which is just one. You have s over s, which is which is which is uh, one as well, and then you have t squared over t cubed that leaves an extra t in the denominator. So that'll simplify to just negative two over t. I'll circle both those answers. All right. So some newer types of polynomials that you'll have to deal with here. Okay. So the next problems we're looking at uh, uh, are a little bit different, so you'll notice there's addition signs separating the terms in the numerator, and that's different from the problems we saw in the last unit. So, um, so this first problem I have 6x plus 9y over, all divided by 3xy. One of the things I'd want you to remember is that you cannot cancel when you have addition going on. So for example, if I have 4 plus 7 over 2, all of that is going to equal 11 over 2 or 5 and a half. I can't cancel, I cannot do this, I can't cancel a 2 uh, uh, in the, uh, within the 4 and the 2 because they're not factors because it's being added to 7. So for that reason, uh, a, t a temptation may be to try to you know, cancel a 3 and a 6 there or an x and an x there because uh, you have this addition sign. Mathematically, that doesn't work or isn't a, a sound uh, a mechanic because it won't it won't be uh, it won't simplify the expression properly. So instead, what we're going to do is we think about you know what if we were to add uh, you know two fifths plus one fifth. Uh, we would add the numerators but not the denominators, so that'd be two plus one over five. So. So what I want to do is kind of back this out, thinking that, you know, if I started with 2 plus 1 over 5, I could go backwards and make that 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here to simplify this expression. So I'm going to think of this as what it would have been before it was put together. And it would have been 9y over 3xy. And we couldn't have put these two together in the numerator because they were not like terms, so all we could do is just express them as 6y plus 9y over 3xy. But if we work backwards and then we cancel, so now I want you to think within these individual fractions we can now cancel. So I have a factor of 3 in the 3 and the 6, and that leaves a 2. I have an x and an x, so they cancel. That leaves a 1 behind. So I end up here with 2 over y. And then the other fraction, the 3 and the 9 cancel, leaving a 3 behind. The y's cancel, leaving a 1 behind. So I end up with plus 
3 over x, and that's how that fraction simplifies. Um, so it, so that so again, I've, I've actually performed the division there. So if I have 2x, so over here I have 2x minus 32 divided by 16x, so I'm going to separate again and say this is 2x over 16x minus 32 over 16x. Because if, again, if I had started here and said, well, I've got a common denominator, so it's 2x minus 32, but I can't do it, I would end up there. So, but I'm actually trying to cancel things out here and simplify this. So I've got a factor of 2 and the 2 and the 16. So that's an 8. And I'll cancel out the x's. So here on the first fraction, I end up with just 1 8 minus, and I've got a common factor of 16 in the numerator and denominator. So that's, there's two 16's and 32, and I have an x left over, so I have 2 over x. Alright, let's go on. Alright, so let's take one on like this. Notice the difference in this problem is that I've got three terms in the numerator, so no big deal. So I'm going to say this is 4x over 4xy. Minus, that's where that minus sign comes from, 2y over 4xy plus 8z over 4xy. I've got a common factor of 4. I've got a common factor of x and uh, so that would leave me with 1 over y minus, and then I'm going to do the same thing. The other fraction has got a common factor of 2 and leave an extra 2 behind. The y's will cancel. I just got to keep track of everything. And I've got 1 over 2x plus, and then the 8 cancels, leaving a 2 behind, and nothing else will cancel there, so I'll just have a 2z z over xy. All right, let's look at the next problem, a little more complicated here. So when I have this one, I'm going to, again, separate each of the terms over and put them over 4AB. So let me draw a little line here to separate my work. And I have 12A squared B squared over 4AB minus 8A squared B over 4AB minus 4AB over 4AB. So, canceling I can do, I can cancel the 4 and the 12, that'll leave a 3 behind. I can cancel one of the A's there, that'll leave one A behind. I can cancel one of the B's and numerate, that'll leave a B there. I'm going to cancel the 8, I mean, I'll cancel the 4 and leave a 2 there. I'll cancel one of the A's and leave an A behind the numerator, cancel both B's. I'll cancel the 4, I'll cancel the A, I'll cancel the A, because all that cancels just leaving, but that does leave a 1 behind. So what I'll be left here, if I can keep track of everything, 3AB minus 2A minus 1. So that's the result of the division of 4AB into that trinomial above. Okay, so the next one we'll be looking at is 9y squared times the quantity x squared minus, six, minus 3xy over 3x squared. 
Uh, here we would need to do the distribution first before we can uh, before we can before we can uh, separate it in terms of in the in terms of its uh, the individual fractions. So I'm going to say nine. Uh, I'll make that nine x squared y squared, and that's after I distributed the 9y squared to the x squared. I just put the x squared before the y squared because of alphabetical order. Uh, and then minus 27xy cubed over 3x squared. So uh, then I'm going to separate it into fractions, putting both the parts of the numerator over 3x squared. And then I have 27xy cubed also over 3x squared. And then I'll start the canceling process. I'll cancel the 9 and the 3, leaving a 3 behind. I'll cancel the x squareds out. I'll cancel the 27 and the 3, leaving a 9. I'll, leave, I'll cancel the x squared of the x, leaving an x behind the denominator. So that all will leave uh, 3 y squared minus 9y cubed over x. Alright, this uh, next problem I have to do a little uh, dealing with the exponents first. So I'll have to deal with this, uh, distribute the 3 to the negative 2 in the x and the 2 to the 3 in the x squared before I can separate it into the into, fra into separate fractions. So this would be negative 2 cubed x cubed plus 3 squared times x to the fourth. So that'd be, and I'll just go ahead and put that over 6x squared. And then that'll be negative 8 uh, x cubed plus 9 x to the fourth over 6 x squared. Then I'm going to separate it into the individual fractions. 9x cubed over 6x squared plus 9x to the fourth over 6x squared. And then I'll do my canceling. Cancel the negative 8 and the 6, leaving a negative 4 and a 3. And cancel the x cubed and the x squared, leaving an x. Cancel the 9 and the 6, leaving a 3 and a 2. Cancel the x to the 4th and x squared, leaving an x squared in the numerator. So this will simplify to negative 4x over 3 plus 3x squared over 2. All right, let's go. All right, I think we just have two more examples here. Um, so in this first problem, I'm going to need to square these two binomials in the numerator first. So uh, when I do that, I'm going to get x minus 2 times x times y, so that's 2xy and then plus y squared and then I'm going to square the x and then I'm going to have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared and all that's going to be over 2x squared y squared. I got to put together all those like terms, any like terms I have in the numerator. I got to square this x right there. So uh, I'm going to end up with 2x squared, uh, and then uh, I'm going to have uh, the two, the two, two x, the negative 2xy and the 2xy makes zero, and then but I have plus 2y squareds there, so I'm going to end up with plus 2y squared over 2x squared y squared. I'll put the 2x squared over the 2x squared y squared and I'll put the 
2y squared over the 2x squared y squared and then I'll cancel the 2, the x squared I'll cancel the 2, the 2, the y squared and y squared so I end up here with 1 over y squared plus 1 over x squared Alright, the last problem is uh, here, I'm going to have to deal with the, this 6 needing to be distributed before I can separate it. So uh, that's going to be 3a squared b minus 6ab. i got to distribute a negative here, so minus 6a squared b squared all over 3ab. I'm going to separate it, 3a squared b over 3 AB minus 6AB over 3AB minus 6A squared B squared over 3AB. And that will leave me with an outcome after I do all this canceling. Cancel the 3, cancel an A out of the A squared and the A, cancel the Bs. Uh, everything cancels except for a 2 here, a factor of 2. 6 and the 3 cancel, and then one of the A's gets canceled, one of the B's. So I end up here with A minus 2 minus 2 AB. And that is the end of the lesson.